So what I would like is now for the rest of this talk, we're going to talk about how Khan Academy can be applied to medicine and how I think a lot of these kinds of problems that I'm bringing up can be addressed with, med with medical videos. So let's take an example. Let's say I have a patient and he is leaving the hospital today and he had a heart attack. So he had a myocardial infarction, which is a heart attack. And so he goes home and he doesn't really know a lot about heart attacks. So I say, okay, I get my two-minute soundbite in and I say, you know, sir, just try to quit smoking. See you later. And he leaves. And he's not going to quit smoking because that wasn't very effective. And he leaves. So then imagine now that I can give him a video on, on the way out the door. Say, you know, just I recognize we're both busy, but just watch this video, go to this website. See you later. He goes. And let's say that he actually does go to the website because obviously you need buy-in, right? You can't just give people resources if they're not going to use it. So let's say he goes to the website, which is a big if. A lot of people are not, are not going to do that. But if you go, you're going to get 10 to 12 minutes of basically a very palatable, understandable, hopefully even slightly funny explanation around heart attacks. What it is, what causes it, it's down to earth, it's not overwhelming, it's understandable for anyone, really. And then you have a, you have a person who's watched this video, hopefully they're satisfied with it, and maybe they even answered a couple of the questions right. So they're feeling good about their knowledge about heart attacks. And that person now has a choice. They can say, okay, end, and let's log on to Facebook again. Or let's go to YouTube or go wherever else. Or maybe I'll watch a second video because this is my health and I care about it. And that second video could be for one person, maybe for, for one lady it might be, okay, I want to watch a video about strokes. Because I remember that the nurses kept talking about how heart attacks and strokes happen because of the same reasons. And gosh, I don't want a stroke because I've heard that's the thing where you know, your face kind of goes floppy on one side and you have to relearn how to talk and walk. And I don't want that. So I want to learn about strokes. Another person says, no, I'm not interested in strokes, but I am interested in how to cook dinner because i got to cook dinner tonight. And you know, everyone's talking low sodium, but I'm cooking dinner and nothing that I have here says low sodium. Is this okay to cook? I have no idea. So I want to you know, get an idea about what is okay to cook and what is not. I want to understand what low sodium really means. And while I'm at it, is sodium the same thing as salt? Because I've never known that either. Another person says, you know, that's all well and good, but I just, I don't know anything about the heart. I don't know uh, how many chambers it has. I don't know valve. I want to actually visualize it. I want to really get a good understanding of how the heart normally works. And then I can go into how a diseased heart goes. So that's three different options for three different people. And the idea is not that I want to jam information down people's throat. I want people, if they're interested, to click on whatever they want and be able to get that guarantee, that 10-minute guarantee. If they tune in for 10 minutes, and that's, I think, a reasonable attention span, they should have some answers to their, to their questions. So that's the idea of self-direction, that you don't have to go through this order of 17 videos to understand heart attacks. You can watch this video, and if you want more, watch the next one. And if you think that's not what you want, go over here and watch this exercise thing, because that might be more relevant for you. So that's the idea of self-direction.